The Montgomery City Council is cracking down on apartment complexes with a history of violence. Council members say all too often crimes like shootings, murders, prostitution happen at specific apartment complexes. Tonight, business owners came before the City Council to address the problem face to face. City Council members say these crimes must stop. WSFA 12 News reporter Brady Talbert was at tonight's meeting and has the very latest. Montgomery police say they have received 30 calls to respond to the Budgetel Inn in the past month and 475 in about a year. Officials say shootings and drug deals are all too common here. We got to get a, a, a gap on that because all that stuff does is spread throughout Montgomery. The owner of the Budgetel Inn spoke before the city council. He says he saved his money for 28 years to invest in a business like this one. He bought the inn in January with pure intentions. I want to be a very neat and clean business. But the problem is this, the, you know, the homeless people, the drug people, the prosecution. The inn offers extended stays and for just $60 a night, officials say people are using it like an apartment complex. Similar problems are happening at Montgomery Sherwood Apartments. MPD reports shootings, murders, robberies, burglaries and stolen cars. The business owner does not live in Montgomery but says he's trying to resolve this issue. We kicked out a lot of tenants. Um, so we have some vacancies with that were causing the trouble and I believe it quieted down a lot. He says he's had difficulty finding a security company for his apartment complex, but Councilwoman Audrey Graham wants him to try harder, claiming he's had two months to iron out these issues. Well, we have a young lady who was laying in her bed and was shot and killed in her bed and we have yet to find out who shot her or anything about that. That's a priority. Montgomery police say they are ready to respond but admit property owners need to do more to attract the right crowds. As soon as we can get them to cooperate and do some of the things that we've recommended and suggested, uh, then hopefully we can see a better resolution to what we're seeing here today at the city council. So where do we stand tonight? The Montgomery City Council has given the Budgetel in a July 5th deadline to get a handle on this issue. Meanwhile, the council is giving the Sherwood Apartments two weeks to find a security company. We're going to keep you updated. All right, thanks a lot, Brady. This is not a new problem. Councilman CeCe Calhoun says this has happened before at extended stay hotels along the Mobile Highway. He says they were torn down.